Welcome back to the NASCAR 15 Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I'm about to do race 23 of 36. I'm here at Michigan National Speedway here in Brooklyn, Michigan for the running of the Pure Michigan 400. 100% um, difficulty. I'll do qualifying in just a minute. 20 laps. Tire wear times one. Fuel use times one. Cautions are on. Uh, visual damage only. Now, I got a quick announcement, and this is about qualifying. Some of you in the comments in previous races wants me to show qualifying in my videos. I'll tell you what, not starting now, but starting at the first chase race, which is race 27 at Chicagoland Speedway, in those 10 chase races, I will show you qualifying in all of those chase races. I'm not going to start now, so I'm going to um, not show you qualifying until the Chicagoland race, which is race 27, then throughout the chase. So I don't know why you guys want me to show you qualifying in my videos. Qualifying is kind of boring. I don't know why you want to see that, but I'm going to listen to my fans and uh, I'll show you qualifying starting at the first chase race out at Chicagoland Speedway. So, hope you like the announcement. Hopefully, hopefully some of you would be happy with that announcement and excited about it. But, I'm not going to do it until Chicago, which is race 27. So, yeah. And, I'm going to show it in all the 10 chase races. So, I thought I'd show you qualifying in those videos. Anyway, let's get to the race. So, let me accept these changes. Let me do qualifying real quick and I will be right back. I just finished up qualifying here at Michigan National Speedway, and let me tell you something, I, was, I just missed out on the second round. I qualified 25th for this race, just missed out. I had a good lap going um, in, the, in the final lap before the timer ran out, and I got sideways off turn 4 and screwed up my lap. I could have made it to the second round, but I'll start 25th in this race. Now, the last time I was here in Michigan, uh, let me just say, I was on a rant, I was on a rage in this race because, uh, not just because of me finishing 7th, but, uh, just how bad the AIs here, are here, even at 100%, they are terrible here, I mean, they'll go like, sometimes they'll just check up on the brakes where they'll end up going 50 miles per hour slower than you. I mean, remember, I wrecked at one point, and then at the restart with 10 laps to go, I restarted last, and yet, in those 10 laps, I came back and finished 7th. I was not happy. Uh, so, hopefully, hope, uh, watch, I mean, watch me go from 25th to winning this race now, uh, in the in this 20 lap race. It's probably going to happen. I'm probably going to win this race, just because how bad the AIs are. So, also, after a bad performance, or no, after my outstanding and b best performance out at Watkins Glen with a 39th place finish, yeah, let's try to forget about the Watkins Glen race, too, because that was bad, except now it's on YouTube. Anyway, let's get this race started, okay? Let's go to the pre-race, and this should be exciting. Should be exciting. So here we are at Michigan National Speedway in Brooklyn, Michigan, for the running of the Pure Michigan 400. The start-finish line, this track is fast. You, you go like 210, 212 going into the corners. Yeah, it's that fast. There's a flyover. You see the cars lined up on pit road. Really nice. Really nice. So, yeah. Uh-oh. Gonna collide. Oh, they missed each other. All right. So, Dale Lennart Jr. starts on the pole. Martin Truex Jr. starts second. Uh, Ryan Newman starts third. And Carl Edwards starts fourth. Now, ain't that nice... That looks nice, doesn't it? Just, yeah. So there's the Pure Michigan 400 winner trophy if you win here in Michigan. All right, so here we go. The pace car is off. or going to be off here. Yep, here we go. The pace car is off. Dale Lennart Jr. and Montreux Jr. will lead us down to the green flag. And I will start, like I said, in the 25th spot. As we're set to go here at the two-mile fast Michigan National Speedway for 20 laps. And the green flag is out. We are underway here at... Michigan or National Speedway.
Martin Truex Jr. looks like he's going to lead the first lap of the race. I had to check up behind David Gillen. I almost got in the back of him because Austin Dillon checked up in front of him. And I had to check up as well. All right, I hit him in the back again. Because he slowed down. I'm telling you, they're going to start slowing down once this race progresses on. I've only moved up three spots so far. Just hoping to move up more. Oh gosh darn it, you see what I mean? I told you that was going to happen. Watch Casey Kane just slow down. He slowed down in the middle of the corner. That's when you usually get back on the gas, but he just watch that was I, I mean I did run in the back of him but that was not my fault to begin with all right so look how slow he was going you saw the cars in front of Casey Kane right did you see how far away they were pulling away from Kane because Kane slowed down Paul Menard went airborne there so I can't put blame on that for me I was just running my line and then Casey Kane just checked up that way it, I mean I don't know what to do there all right I'm gonna stay out here Let's see, Montreal Jr. is going to restart as the race leader, and I'm going to restart 17th. So I've moved up 8 spots since the start of the race. So here we go, the pace car is off once again here at Michigan National Speedway. Montreal Jr. will lead us down to the restart. We're going to have 16 laps to go as I will restart 17th. And I'm restarting alongside Bobby Labonte. Here we go, green flag back in the air here at Michigan National Speedway. Making it three wide going into turn number one underneath Trevor Bain and Austin Dillon. Oh, I'm sideways. Yeah, you can get sideways at this racetrack too. It's fast, but it's loose too. Alright, I got tight there that time. Oh man. Tight. I got the two McDonald's car together. Yeah, I'm driving the McDonald's scheme. I haven't drove it in a while. I thought I'd use it. 15 laps to go here at Michigan National Speedway. Oh, stop. Oh, my gosh. My car is sideways. Trevor Bain just went on by. Oh, my God. I really hate when they do that. See, I could have gained some ground there. Oh, I'm gonna do that anyway. Look at this. Looks like Almendinger slowed up Hamlin and uh, Blaney. And Harvick's checking up in front of Almendinger. I'm gonna go around them both. Maybe around Hamlin as well. My goal is to finish in the top 10. Looks like I could be able to do that by passing all these guys. Just outside the top 10. I'm running 11th right now. Oh, here we go. Three wide, maybe. Uh, I, am I underneath uh, Stenhouse? Not quite there yet. I will be here now. Yep. Just got around Stenhouse to get up in the top ten. Let's see if I could get around Hamlin for ninth. Not quite. Here comes Harvick, though. Ooh, check up. Slow down, Joseph. Slow down. All right. Moving on up. This will be a good finish for me if I finish in the top 10 after my bad performance at uh, Watkins Glen. And I was just an idiot right there. I decided to turn right into the wall. 
I mean, literally right. I was wanting to get close to the wall so I can have a better arc going in the corner, and I just smacked the wall. Why not, right? So let's see if I can catch Gordon now. Coming off turn number four, we're gonna have ten laps to go here. Mission and Natural Speedway. Martin Truex Jr. leads, and I'm running in ninth. I'm catching Gordon in just a little bit. Look how fast you're going in the corner, though. 2.15. That's crazy. Here we go. I'm catching Gordon here. Oh yeah, here we go. Got a good chance getting around Gordon. I do, right here. I take over the 8th spot. Look at that, you got a 7 car race up there. 7 car pack. And then it separates. And then, wow. Am I pulling away from Gordon? Holy crap. See if I can catch these guys up ahead of me. I got a fast race car, but I don't think it's fast enough to win the race. I don't think I'm going to win this race. It'll be amazing if I do. I got to show it now, because we're coming to eight laps to go. I mean, like I said, even a good top ten finish, like, even if I finish eighth, it's a pretty good day, you know? So I got eight laps to go. I have no pressure from behind either. All right, I'm going in the wall. I'm going in the wall. Mm-hmm. Yep. I got back on the gas too early. I was tr I was trying to see if I could get back on the gas too early and get uh gain some ground off the corner, and that didn't work out the way I hoped. Looks like we got a side by side battle for fifth up there. Looks like Gordon is trying to catch me again because I hit that wall. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to win this race. But it'll be a good top 10 finish for me. Because next race is at Bristol Motor Speedway. And I know I'm going to do awful there. Last time I was at Bristol, I finished 24th. So, get ready to see a bad performance at a... Uh, Bristol, and then it's Darlington, and then Richmond. So after this race, you got three more races before the chase. Bristol, Darlington, and Richmond. You got you got a three wide battle for fourth. Look at that up there. Six laps to go. If they keep running side by side, they're gonna start slowing down, and I'm gonna start gaining. I'm only one second behind Tony Stewart right now. Let's see what I'm where I'm at uh, next lap. Oh wow, Stewart slowed down a lot. Definitely gaining on him. Five laps to go here. Michigan National Speedway. Montrex Jr. leads, and I'm running eighth, but I might get to seventh because Tony Stewart slowed up. Here I go on the inside of him. Oh boy. Oh, I'm tight. Oh man, that is tight. Side by side down the back straight away. Four to go. I got around Tony Stewart for 7th, now let's see if I could catch Ryan Newman. And I know that's Dale Nart Jr. in 5th. Remember, he started on the pole in this race. Or it could be Jimmy Johnson. No, it looks like more like it's Jimmy Johnson in 5th. I think that's Junior up there in 2nd. looks like Logano is 3rd. 
I can't tell who's in fourth. Three laps to go. Martin Truex Jr. leads and I'm running seventh. You know what? I don't think I can catch Newman. I don't think I can catch him. Because first of all, Newman is not battling with Johnson. And that would have slowed them both down. Pieces that debris is laying in turn number three. I don't know if you've noticed that. Because I ran it over. I mean, I know uh, it's been there for a while, but goodness. Two laps to go. Maybe, uh, looks like I'm going to sweep the both Michigan races by finishing seventh. Down the back straightaway once again. Yeah, I don't think I could catch Newman. I think this is where I'm gonna be. Off turn number four. White flag is out. Final lap here at Michigan National Speedway. Martin Truex shooting leads. I'm running seventh. Tony Stewart's actually gaining on me. Can I hold Stewart off to finish seventh? Oh man, oh, oh man, I got close to that wall. Down the back straightaway for the final time. And then going into turn number three. Side by side battle up there now. Oh, I might have a chance to get six. Off turn number four. Marsh Trick Jr. is gonna win here at Michigan. And I'm, can I get six? Yes. All right. Ryan Newman was trying to pass Johnson. All of a sudden he checked up. And that was the end of it for him. Is that... No, that looks like it's Junior. I can't tell from the distance if it's Johnson and Junior because they have similar colors, kind of. From the distance I'm talking about, you know. I think it's Junior. Yeah, it is Junior. I thought so. All right, so I was wrong on one part. So, Martin Truex Jr. wins here at Michigan, and he led every lap of the race. Jimmy Johnson second, Brad Keselowski third, Joey Legall fourth, Dale Earnhardt Jr. fifth, I finished 6th, Ryan Newman 7th, Tony Stewart 8th, Michael McDowell 9th, good for him, and Jeff Gorn rounds up the top 10. Ty Dillon 11th, Kevin Harvick 12th, you got Denny Hamlin 15th, AJ Allmendinger 18th, and Michael Annette rounds up the top 20. Austin Dillon 21st, Jamie McMurray 23rd, Ricky Stenhouse 24th, Matt Kenson 25th, Chase Elliott 29th, and Eric Amarola finishes 30th. 31st, Regan Smith, 32nd, Greg Biffle, 34th is Kyle Larson, 35th, Kurt Busch, 37th, Casey Kane. He also set the fast lap of the race, but had a bad finish. Wow. And Kyle Busch fa finishes 40th. Wow. 41st is Carl Edwards, 42nd is Danica Patrick, and 43rd is David Reagan. Carl Edwards started 4th in this race, and he finishes 41st. What in the world happened to him? I didn't even notice he was falling back. That's crazy. Uh, I really don't care. So, sixth place finish at Michigan. I'll take it. Uh, considering that the next race I will not finish in the top ten because it's Bristol and I'm bad there. I'm, yeah. So, get ready to see a lot of wrecks in that race. So let's look at the point standings. Kevin Harvick has the points lead by 16 points over Tony Stewart. And I am third in points, um, 18 points down. But that's okay. You know, once the chase starts, it's going to reset anyway. Uh, Jeff Gorn rounds up the top 5 in points. And rounding up the top 10 points is Ryan Newman. Uh, uh, let's see. Looks like he's 114 points back. And Marjorie Jr., your winner is 14th in points. So next race is going to be at Bristol Motor Speedway in Bristol, Tennessee for the Ray of the Urban Tools night race. That is going to be a hell of a race. And what I mean by hell, I mean bad. So yeah, so get ready to see a bad race at Bristol. Anyway, so I will see you at Bristol.